Welcome back to No Man's Sky, and today we're going to talk about the Appearance Modifier. Let's interact with it. Um, you can find an Appearance Modifier on the Space Stations, on the Anomaly, and you can build one at your various bases, including on your freighter. If you interact with it, you will come to a customization area here, where you can pick what race you want to be. And let's just save my design here. Right, so if I go over to... yeah. So, that's you'll start off looking pretty much like that. Um, your colours might be different, but you'll have that basic design. Um, but there are, under Anomaly, quite a few different designs that you can switch to. Some of them you will need to unlock at the Quicksilver um, Merchant, some of the stuff you'll see in this whole video. Um, some of it, well quite a lot of it, will already be available to you. Um, you could choose to be a Gek, and again there's lots of different presets um, to work with. But these presets aren't going to be your entire character, we're going to go through different sections and you can adjust accordingly and this results in somewhere around 30,000 different, uh, not including colours, so before you even factor into colours there's about 30,000 different um, combinations you can have, so it's quite unlikely that uh, two different players are going to look the same, assuming of course that they've done anything to change themselves from the original design, that. Um, so yeah, you can play as Gek, Viking, Corvax, Anomaly, or Traveller. The Travellers um, can be quite interesting. So there's a fair few presets of them. And they all look quite different to each other. But let's, let's, let's go with Traveller for the minute. If you go to body shape, you can change the basic shape of your body, obviously. Heads. Now you'll see I've got quite a few unlocked here. Right, now these, remember, I'm on anomaly as a race, so the heads that appear here will be the anomaly heads. Right, you'll notice they're all defaulting to pink, which I don't particularly like. Oops. Right, so you can edit the colours however you want. Um, you can edit the shape of the face as well, so you know you don't have to stick with the initial boring bit. You can put markings on, eyes you can change, none at all. <laughs> So these ones that look like the um, anomaly characters, you have to unlock at the um, Quicksilver Merchant. And each of them, as you can see, each of them has different uh, customization options depending on which one you've picked. Okay, and your torso, you can change um, basically what top you're wearing. Obviously you can change the colours of all, change the markings, sometimes you'll have like a third colour. On your armour, that's this bit at the front. Again, there's a few different designs, um, I anticipate more, more of them will probably be coming. Gloves, a few different types of gloves. And again, you can add markings to them. Some of them it's more obvious what the markings are. Sometimes there's different types of markings you can put on. Your legs, again, lots of different types. I think you're getting the point by now. There's a lot of customization options. Right, and 
then your backpacks, right? There's a few different types I've unlocked here. Um, again, from the Quicksilver Merchant, that um, you can customize your jetpack. You see, and your actual jetpack style. You'll always start with this type, but you can change it to this type. You can have different markings on them. And then we get to the banners. Now this is where things have evolved quite a lot recently. Um, it used to be that you could have this, this banner up here and you could change your different colours about it. Um, but that was it. It just said your name and what class your ship is. Your current ship. Um, right there. But they've oh yeah, and you could change the emblem in the background there. There's a few different ones, including some at the bottom here that you unlock at the anomaly that are uh, unlock at the Quicksilver Merchant that are quite interesting. Right, but now, with the Desolation update, they've also added a whole bunch of unlockable. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I've completely lost the word I'm looking for, but unlockable words um, to describe yourself. Descriptions, I guess. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what word I was looking for. Um, but you'll notice I've unlocked quite a few of them. Um, this one is going to be difficult. I'm going to have to reduce my standing with the Explorer's Guild in order to improve it again because I'm currently at maximum. Um, again, same with the Mercenaries Guild here. Alright, there's a few here um, where I've not played very much because I've been working on the um, website. I've not played very much since this was implemented, so there's still a few gaps in my. Feel the judgment of the echoes. I have no idea what I have to do to unlock that. Feel the spirits of the Gek. No idea. Visitors, visit a special system. I imagine that'll be an abandoned system or something. I don't know. Titan. I'm not sure. Feel the wrath of Ikeen. Warden of Glass. Uh, Travelled by portal again, but not part of the weekend missions. See, there's a few that, yeah, see, some of these are related to the story and really should be unlocked for me because I've done the story. Um, guessing I might have to reset and do the story all over again to unlock it all, I don't know. Impress Cronus, well I can unlock that one in just a second, surely. I'm sure I must have food on me. And your freighter fleet. See, I'm going to have to get rid of a uh, frigate in order to buy a new one and unlock that. Right, so basically, it's all stuff that you unlock by playing. Um, and in the case of the last few, rather annoyingly, it's ones you unlock by dying in particular ways, which I refuse to do. <laughs> so I'm going to wait until. Um, no, I would not like to play the changes. I'm going to wait until they appear down here in the Quicksilver Merchant um, because I notice they are doing that with some some terms. I'm hoping that they appear in here. Let's find ones that are already here. Are well, they not listed? Why are they not listed? That's weird. That's really very weird. They were here. Maybe they removed them again, I don't know. It's very strange. Okay, well they were um, selling some of the ti titles, that's what I was after. They were selling some of the titles here at the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion, but I'm guessing that they've stopped that for a minute. Probably because they've realised we've not actually finished unlocking um, the last few bits that have been in the game since... Uh, last August, so over a year. Um, but yeah, we're very nearly near the end of that. We've got a few more plants and then the jetpack trails, the last jetpack trails that you saw in here, which were the, um, so I've already gotten the, where is it, rainbow one and, the one, and that one, the chromatic, uh, the stealth, sorry, so stealth and rainbow jetpack trails. Unless it was those for the ship, I can't remember. But yeah, we're almost done with them, is the point. Let's see if Helios 
has a weekly thing in the bob for me. Yeah. Yeah, so um, that was the appearance modifier. Obviously, there's quite a lot that you can do to customize your character. Um, you can save three different designs to here. Alright, so if I get tired of playing Groot here, um, I can switch to another one, which I've not created yet, but I could switch to my second design and play them as well for a while, and switch to my third and play for them, play as them for a while, and then I can just switch back to Groot again. All I've got to do is click on this big one. Alright. And it just it reloads Groot. So if I if I created a new one, um, let's uh, save that guy. All right. So if I come away, I'm now playing as this guy. All right. And if I go back in, and I click on one, I'm playing as Groot again. Yeah, it's that easy. I don't particularly want. Design, how do I get rid of it? Is there a way to get rid of it? I don't even know if there is. I'm just going to save over it. So I've got Groot in all three spaces. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you enjoyed watching that video on the appearance modifier. Hope to see you in some other videos. Goodbye.